<clears throat> Is it working? I don't know if it's working. It's working. Okay, good. Oh. Good morning, afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Sakarik, and welcome to Hyperbolica. So, a long time ago, I got really obsessed with the concept of non-Euclidean space. So, it's... So... What am I trying to say here? <laughs> Non-Euclidean space is a very confusing and mind bedding concept, and I'm just looking at this menu like, oh my god, it is so weird. Because things don't exactly make sense. It's hard to explain. I can't even explain it. But basically, I've always been very interested in non-Euclidean space, and this is a game that I've heard of several times throughout my life, and it finally came out as an official, fully released game, and I figured I'd wanted to give it a try. So we're going to play it. Because I want to experience actual non-Euclidean space firsthand and see how bizarre it really is in mind bending. Alright class, settle down. Does everyone have their brain link fully charged and calibrated? Great, we're in school. This is not hyperbolic space. Alright, let's go. Welcome to Virtual Reality Learning Center. We're in virtual reality? We take go to school in VR? Oh, that's cool. Please check that you're in the right room. We don't want to receive any credit if you're logged into the wrong room. Hey, look, see, it's like freaking, I would say, I haven't actually done any of that, but you know. Anyway. <laughs> also, Missy Cueller! You'll be a geometry teacher this semester. Geometry is such a fun and exciting subject. Oh, my character's getting tired. <laughs> Let's go and get over the basics, shall we? Theorem number one, every square has right angle. Theorem number two, parallel lines stay the same direction apart. Yes. Theorem number three, the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. Okay, great. Theorems should be obvious, so we don't need to prove them. Yes, you do have the full try to question something so fundamental and what better way to reinforce these concepts with homework my favorite part one two thirty six number homework information number more numbers odd more numbers don't care let's get on with the weird confusing space because obviously all that shit she was explaining about like parallel lines and the circumference of a circle all that none of that applies to here Forget all that! Throw it out the window! There ain't no parallel lines, no circumference of a circle. We are in non-Euclidean space. Nothing makes geometrical sense. And some theories say that we actually could live in a world that is non-Euclidean. Our concept of... Our concept of math could just be very rudimentary, and non-Euclidean space is really how it actually works if you scale it up on a massive scale. But uh, this is a really interesting, uh, very blown up method of learning things based. Hey, how are you? Hi, did you come from the virtual learning center? Me too. Wow, hey, I have so much in common. <laughs> like two peas in a pod. I'm Cornelius, nice to meet you, and welcome to Hyperbolica! It's a hyperbolic world hidden in the brain link system. It's only for extremely cool people like us. <laughs> but I'm just being hyperbolic. That was a joke. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it, hypothetically speaking. Um, I'm an amateur stand-up comedian. That means I don't get paid yet. Yet! Of course, same! So am I. <laughs> so that means I'm an amateur uh, YouTuber? Amateur streamer? Yeah, that's what I am. Oh yeah, I want to learn more about hyperbolic, right? Yeah? Well, that might look like you're on... A little planet but it's just an illusion really it's the opposite and I guess line lines always diverge here because of like geometry or something lines always diverge 
Hmm, maybe I'm not so good at explaining this. You should just see for yourself. But it's really easy to get lost here, so you'll definitely need a map. You should talk to the Oracle. I think they're in the caravan down the path. Once they give you a map, they'll tell you all the important questions. All the important quests. Super important. Have a look around, but take breaks if you need to. Hyperbolic can make some people dizzy. Can it? Whoa. Okay. The sensitivity is really high. I might need to turn that down just a notch, because it's like actually like... Oh, I can't. Settings. Controls. Nope. Can't. Can't, can't, can't change this. Okay. Alright, looks like we're stuck with the sensitivity. Ah, uh, wow. Oh, what the frick? Oh, that is so weird. Yeah, you know, watching people- Watching this doesn't do it justice. It feels so weird to experience it. I was supposed to follow a path, but I- immediately walked into the town. Yo, buddy. Dude. How did I end up... Okay. So, wait, what did he say to do? He said to follow the path. Where am I going? Wait, I got so distracted. Did you talk to the Oracle yet? They're around here somewhere. The caravan is usually right next to the path. Okay, the caravan's next to the path. So we gotta find the oracle. Lots of signs, leading places. Interesting. So we gotta follow the path, basically, is what he's saying. So there's this like weird wobbly path. What's weird is where does the town even go? I can't even see the town anymore. Like the first thing that caught my eye was the massive town, and like it's not even here anymore. There's so many people! There's so much! My ADHD is so triggered! I don't know what to go to! Oh, but the rocks! I want to see the rocks! Where do the rocks lead? I get so ADHD, I'm like, I'm just gonna explore the rocks. They get so big when you get to them. Like, they seem so small in the distance, and then they're like, whole mountains here. Like, it's wild. Hey guys! How you doing? Oh, you all whispery. We can no longer live in the traditional society. It's a sorry, wait on. We can no longer live in a traditional society. In our hearts, we know too much. Okay, okay, buddy. We believe we know who tends to be the garden, who holds the spade. Okay. The time with these folks have been really enjoyable. We mostly tell stories and sing songs but all in code. Our time together has been more precious than diamonds to me. Ah, is that what these three are talk two are talking? Code? Is this person talking code too? We got our own little club. We keep our members secret. So it makes to be scattered around. Okay, bet. Hey, buddy. The walking path here is very strange. As I walk around it, I kept feeling like I was walking in circles. And I didn't come back to the spot I started at until way later. You should give it a try. I still can't wrap my head around it. I mean, this path isn't very big. Like, I can clearly see... Where's the town? Where'd the town go? Oh, shit. Oh, it's like a little Alice in the Wonderland setup. Oh, that's cool. All I want, a proper club of tea. If you do find a subtle teapot, just join us. Okay. Is it someone's birthday? Okay, but that's the weird thing about Hyperbolica. Like, it's, it's, I can't remember which way I was going. Oh, there's the town. Like, I definitely walked in a circle more than once to, to get back to this town. It's so weird. 
Path is very circular. Hello, jungle. I really want to go into the town. What was I trying to find? The shaman caravan? Since it's normally next to the path. Yeah, I've gone in the circle like eight, like so many times already. Like I keep walking in circles. The dude was right. I'm going in circles and circles and circles. Oh, there's that dude. But like, now there's winter over here instead of a town. What the frick? You know, you can make yourself feel cold in the latest brand link update. It's amazing. You're using a third party or hack rigs. Not that I know anything about those things. Okay. But like, also on a side note, where did the town go? I want to go back to the town. Should I go backwards to get to the town again? Is, is that the trick? Is it one of those tricks? Is it like when you turn around, you like go now there's a desert here like what where'd the desert come from how long is this path where does the path go literally you stand in the middle of there's here's these guys again oh there's the town again okay this is so weird But then you can just like walk straight across it. And then it doesn't seem... It's a whole circle. I can see the whole path from here. But it's so long to walk it. That's so bizarre. Because from here I can, I can see the snow area over there. I can see the, the beach area. I can see the, the, the little desert area. I can see the, the little Alice in Wonderland place and the town from here. I can see everything from here. But it's so... It doesn't make sense. Because then when I get to it, it gets so much bigger. But like, that's hyperbolic for you. Like, everything looks so tiny, too. And then once you get into it, Like, what? There's, like, dead ends. So, it's just for show. Folks, so let me know if you have any million dollar ideas. You can make all the technical work. I'll handle the business side. It's not a very big town, but, like, it's so cool when you get into it. All the best food, I have a lot of Featured in Mobius Times. To be honest, our official was a bit side. I'm sorry, but the cafe is not open yet, sir. We're getting ready for the lunch rush. Okay, I'm sorry. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's not a very big town. It looks big from the out- Like, the way it looks from the outside, it's like, oh, wow, there's a lot going on here. Like, there, there, wait, wait, what's all down this way? There's, like, a bunch of dead ends, though. It's weird. Hey, didn't see you there. I'm piloting my drone. Got some cool pictures of the city. Hyper Metropolis is amazing. For information, I'm a high flying artificial pilot. I'm so a champion of hyperbolic drone racing. I've won hundreds of ways around, maybe not even thousands. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit, bit of a big deal. What? You don't believe me? Ha! <laughs> That's some pretty bash talk for someone who's uneducated as yourself. I've got some advice for you, buddy. Better quit talk before I kick you your butt so hard technology will be higher, genius. Can I try your drone? Yeah, I'll challenge you. 
Fine, I'll spawn you another. Yes! I'll try to explain it simply, but newbie like you. I want to fly! First one, fly through all the rings, wins, cash, fly. Far you lose perception. Alright, black the head, let's go. What? Oh my god. Whoa. 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 This is cool. <laughs> Where am I? Whoa. I think I'm losing. Dude is in front of me. This dude's winning by a lot because I'm going like all wibbly wobbly and it's not helping. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting used to it! Ah. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! We're flying through the world! Oh, the perception is so weird. My brain loves it, though. It's so bizarre. Whoa, we're so high up. Everything looks so weird. Ah, oh, no, I crashed! You couldn't even finish the race without crash. I knew babies that fly better than you. Babies don't fly. Uh, I guess they could fly drones, but they'd still be better than you. Thanks. Oh, fight me. No, oh, but there's so much town. Whoa, there's all down this road. Oh my god, there actually is town. There are a lot of interesting jobs in the Hypertropolis. I decided to train under the Oracle. Let me try giving you a fortune. Your future is you meet a handsome transfer student and it'll change your life. Oh, sounds like the pilot of a young adult fantasy novel. How delightful. I sure hope the fortune turns out to be true. Right. Okay, great. Every time I come back in here, I'm like, whoa, the sensitivity is so high. Listen, kid, I used to be just like you. But then I took an arrow to the knee. Then I lost a maze of. Arpard. Arpargon? Don't be like me. Accept help if somebody gives it to you. Okay. I'm a vendor of a bespoke virtual world. Honestly, I've never encountered something as advanced as Hyperbolicon. Definitely someone with lots of knowledge about brain link framework creativeness. Dude, imagine playing this in VR. Like, it would be so mind melting. Like, I would not know what my brain would do to experience non-Euclidean space in VR. Well, hello there. I'm a researcher specializing in popular destiny for filmmaking. Early in hyperbolic development, there are only a few of us users. It should take a long time before us users would encounter another. Meant English stats would truly high also know, make such a optimal publishing density, of course, with my boss's explanation. We need to keep our surveying users and reporting back. Okay, great. This town is, uh, very closed off. Epis spot of Hyperbolica is definitely the Amiral uh, Gallery. I'm in a raffle and they get tickets to last this exhibit. Just when I thought that it was gonna, like, actually extend, it just kind of literally does this loop around and now it's going right back to the outside. Which is kind of sad. Trying to be a virtual world designer, I'm listening to be code and simulate sensations like wind and the smell of train. Wait a minute. I forgot. 3D space doesn't make sense. Hey, do you know where you're actually in a completely flat space? You see, I'm a member of the Flat Space Society. I know it's actually called Hyperbolica, but that's just what they want you to think. <laughs> a bunch of sheep. Okay, buddy. Okay. You and your flat spacers. 
I just realized, like, hold on a minute. I, I, have I, have I found myself in the thick of it? Is this town actually a lot bigger than I thought it was? Because it looked very closed off at first. Friendly is so easy to use for school to my work at my closest friend in the virtual learning center of class. It's hard for me to meet up with them in real life though. But I'm thankful for the innovative tech. And easily live in hyperbolic space if you're afraid of heights. I heard some fella around here was having trouble doing his job because of that. Well, this place isn't very high. Also, okay, I found my way out. It did loop around. I thought I, like, got lost in the town at first. It's so weird. It looks so closed off, and then you go into it, and then it's like, there's actually stuff. What's in here? Did I find a secret? Oh, I found something. I found something. It's, it's, it, I just went around a building. <laughs> Damn it. Can I, like, climb on top of the buildings? I got a cool mug for the Moa Gallery of Shop. Items and cool prompts. At least they look interesting. Okay, cool. Don't care. Um, I've explored most of the town. It's not very big. I mean, it is bigger than it looks. It, I'll give it that. It's so bizarre, though. And then you, like, feel like you can see everything from here. All the different roads. That's the bizarre part. Like, I can pretty much choose my route just from here. Like, I could just... There's so many roads and I can see them all. Ugh, my brain. Oh, this is the caravan. This is what I'm looking for. Hello? Greetings and felicitations. I see you're looking for some guidance. Relax, I am in search for your help you desire. Oh. Hmm, yes. You are lost and there's something locked beyond your grasp. Thank you, Captain Avius. I'm lost in a world that makes no sense. How dare I know? I am the Oracle of the Bower of Illustrations, Powers of Destiny Divisions. Since you are new here, perhaps I may provide you with some assistance. Please take this map with you on your journey. A map! That'll be helpful. Simply use your map to access the map, map mode button and change the projection. If you forget which button they are, you can always check your settings. If you find yourself lost again, please visit. I will use my power to advise you. Farewell, traveler. Thank you. Hey, you got the map. That's great. Now you can go anywhere on the ground. Grand, now you can go on a grand adventure to unite Platonic Castle because of the prophecy. The great prophecy. It tells the chosen one who will collect the five Platonic crystals and bring balance to Hyperbolica. And the prophecy says it will be a plucky and a lovable side look. That's me, right? Anyway, the Platonic crystals are scattered across the land and only the reunited all that will bring the new age prosperity. Arrgh! Okay. <laughs> you can go to different areas around here, traveling through the portals, and once you get to the crystals, we'll meet back up here. Oh, so this is like a hub world. That's why it's... Interesting. Stand and explore, check things, it'll keep you from the uh, sidelines. And I'm looking good at that. First, enjoy, have a bug. I'll be around here whenever you need help. I am mumbling a lot. <laughs> good luck with all the quest adventure awaits. <laughs> adventure! Okay, so I got. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, map. Okay, so everything is like warping and changing as I walk through it, which really explains what I see. Wild. 
So I can easily go back to the town if I go this way. And then, like, you can see all the different paths. Then as you get in it, everything kind of, like, turns, warps around you. And then suddenly, the town takes up most of the world. Like, this bizarre part is you can still see all of it. This map is weird. The map is constantly warping, but I guess the world kind of warps as I walk around it, too. Oh, hello. Oh, the cafe. Can you let me in now? I hope you enjoy the Info In Infinity Cafe. We're a little busy, but I'm sure you'll find our services exquisite. Can I go in now? I can! Auto save complete. That is very daunting. Is that just like. Wait up, I'm right behind you. As your little psychic, I'm very important in quest. I must keep you informed. I'm hype about God. This is the Infinity Cafe. It's bigger on the inside. Unfortunately, I've been banned from going in this week. Oh, I'm gonna You're getting complaints from customers about my singing. <laughs> but how was I supposed to know the karaoke now was canceled? Yeah, you guys should told him! The cafe must be cutting back on events since there's a big staff shortage. It's got to be really hard to wait tables in Hypobolic Cafe. I wish there was something we could do to help them out. Infinity Cafe, that name is... Makes sense of... Oh my god. Okay, so it is just a corner. That's so bizarre! Why is the corner so deep? It looks like a hallway that just goes on. But okay, anyway. Hello, welcome to the Infinity Cafe. Yeah, your cafe looks really, really, really big, but then you, it's not. In case this is your first time at the virtual cafe, let me explain how it all works. All the food served here can be tested and smelled via brain link sensory processing. We coat it all into the, our dishes. Wild. While it smells and tastes divine, please know that the food has no nutritional value since it's still virtual. <laughs> Fortunately, we're a little short-staffed right now, so the wait is rather long. In the meantime, please feel free to have a look around the cafe. There's still anything I can help you with? Why is it called the Infinity Cafe? How does the virtual food taste? Why is it called the Infinity Cafe? The former secretary, Lorenzo Fosse, designed the cafe. He has a aversion to angles and curves, so the design's cafe to have not That's right, every wall here is perfectly straight with no corners. Well, at least none you can see, and the infinitely far away. Hence the name. Truly unique architecture. And don't forget, if you get lost, the entrance is here in the yellow section. Enjoy the cafe. Infinitely long? So, it's made entirely out of a straight wall? It just gets so infinitely small that I can't fit in it anymore. Okay. Whoa. More infinitely... I'm more focused on like, oh, this is so cool. Whoa, it gets so big. I thought it was tiny. Huh. 
It's every little wall corner is just like woohoo. It just pokes into itself. Like that's so bizarre. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I'm in love. Can I just bother people who are trying to eat? Can you believe this guy? He literally forgot his own dog's name. There's nothing wrong with my memory. Stop making assumptions. Okay. He forgot he even had a dog. This is so cool. Oh man, for a second I thought I was just gonna keep going. Ah, oh, that's so bizarre. I love it. I wanna keep going in. Oh, this is so creepy. This gives me the spooks. Like, oh my god. Ugh. The crevices in there are spooky. Like, do you guys ever go in there? Like, that's so weird. Oh my god, it gets, it's so big. Is this like the middle area? Whoa. Now remember guys, this room is entirely made out of one straight wall. So this was like just one little section where it was and everyone has like it's basically made out of a massive uh what's it called uh fractal where the shape is infinite that is so cool ah geometry can be cool <laughs> every wall is infinitely long so oh it gives me the spooks though because it's like ah Imagine just sitting here and just being like, yeah, there's just that infinitely long crevice just chilling there in the corner, gaping at me. I have no idea what kind of infinite void demons can exist in that crevice. It's very spooky. What do you think about there? There's so much joy I get from meditation. It's just like jo joining the collective dream. Just meditating and st oh god. Nice art choice. <laughs> There's a square. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's one of those confusing shapes that don't make any actual sense. Oh god. You can get lost in just like one little corner of this place. It's so big! Like, and then there's this whole section over here. And then it's all like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? This is all just one section? And then, oh okay. Oh, it's so creepy. It's another butthole of the world. Oh god, it feels like I can just keep going down it. It just keeps going. Oh, it's so weird. I love it. I'm just so mesmerized by it. I'm just like... Like, it feels small. Like... The weird part is I, I explore it like this and I like, take a big scope of the section. I can see everything. Okay, and I can see the whole section. And it's like, wow, that that that's a that's a big hefty section. But then it's like, okay, now I can go into the green section. But like, actually walking through it, it's like it's so big. Like it just keeps going and going, and then you're like, whoa, hold on a minute. I forgot that there's like a a middle area somewhere that's just kind of like you could see the colors of the stuff over there but like you get so lost in this section with all these people no wonder the short staff they would need an army 
Oh, and this is the entrance. Oh my god. Bro, this place is huge. And then it's like, I've been walking for so long, just actually trying to walk through all of this and process how actually big it all is. Like, you look at it, oh, it looks tiny. You walk through it, like, holy shit. This is, this is huge. And that was just one of the one, two, three, four different sections. And they have this little tiny, like, retro in retrospect, this is genuinely a tiny section of the, of the bar. It's like the little shared section in the middle. How doth the little crocodile? Um, now, how does the poem go? I think I had a funny ending. Okay. Look, my memory has just been so hazy lately. Okay. I moved to Hyperbolics Ballas after working in the farm. I used to have a nice and easy life, but it felt like I was living in the bubble. <laughs> this place is way open. Hey kiddo, can I talk to you for a minute? It's been a tough for a week for staff here. A lot of people are coming to the cafe now and our servers can't keep up. We're proud of our food and service, but the wait time has been getting longer and longer. I mean, what, what, for what though? You don't gotta cook it, it's, it's virtual. If it's not too much trouble, could you pitch in and help us out? Sitting by the kitchen in the back for, of the blue section, I promise you'll compensate you for your hard work. Thanks a million, kid. The back of the blue section. Oh my god, this place is huge. And you're telling me to go into the blue section? I'm actually a little bit scared to go anywhere than out of this section at this point, bro. Like, I've explored how big a section is. And you want me to go into the kitchen? What's the kitchen do? What do you guys do in the kitchen? Invent new food meals? Oh my god, it's literally huge. Oh god. Hey, is this the kitchen? Oh my god. This is bizarre. You're in the back of this place. The lunch rush has been all the waiters completely swamped and all those dishes need, need to be delivered as quickly as possible. Could you help us out here? Sure. Great, because this cafe is a bit, is so big we can move really fast to get the orders out in time. So I hope you don't mind if I put some roller skates on here. When you find the right table, just throw your grub in a hurry. Oh, okay. Whoa! Okay, I'm sliding through all this. Okay. Whoa! The game's like, yeah, this place is big. Here you go! Okay, this way. Oh my god, this place is huge! Woohoo! And then I'm flying through here from table to table. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love this. Meow. All the way to your table, buddy. Here you go. Well, oh shit. I'm sorry. I threw your, I threw your plate. My bad. Meow. Still somewhere in the green section, but like still really far away, to be honest. Also, somewhere else in the green section. Also really far away. This place is actually huge. And then somewhere... Oh, nope, that's not the table. My bad, it's all the way down here. I got this. I got this. Oh, shit. I'm running out of time. Oh, no. No, no. Ah! Oh no! 9 out of 10! Drats! Wanna try that again? Yes, I got this. I got this. Great. Go, go, go. I got this. I got this. 
Meow. Stop getting stuck on stuff. Meow. Lie through. Here you go, buddy. Oh shit, I missed. Sorry, buddy. I threw. I threw it. Here you go. This way. I should probably figure out where I'm going before I start moving. And then to this guy. There you go. And then over here. To another distant thing way off in the distance. I like how it's got this like triple green section just to like make you realize I'm wow. Even if I'm not going from section to section, it's still a huge distance. And this guy's way off in this section. From the green section all the way to another section. And then just all the way in the pack of this section over here. Still in the same section though. Oh no. Oh no. That was not too far away. No, 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 no! No! Ah, they really make it difficult. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. Hold on. Don't get stuck on everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where am I going? 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 Stop panicking, Abby. Focus. And that that that, that bit of panic is what's gonna cost me all of this. <laughs> so many walls, so many things to get stuck on. Come on, go, 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 go. We got this, we got this, we got this. Go, go, go. I was doing so great at first. Like, what happened? Now I'm bumping into everything. Meow, meow, meow. Eight. Meow. Nine. Wow, I did way better this time. Holy shit. You did it! Hell yeah! You did it, kid! Thanks for the help! Some of our staff mentioned you like platonic crystals, eh? Well, that this is for you. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's my goal. Get all these crystals. Cool, yo! I actually did one. We're still really busy, so you gotta back to work. See you later. Okay, bet. I think that worked out pretty well. Thank you for so much for your help. You're welcome. And this is like... You can't even see the middle section from here. Because it's so big. But to be fair, I guess in hyperbolic space. I guess if it's the logic is, since parallel lines don't exist, technically... A straight line would eventually loop around itself entirely, wouldn't it? If it went infinitely straight. Like, it looks like, like from here, it's cool because it looks like it's almost circular, but then there's these weird middle bits that are like extra long and sharp and really spooky too because they're like big and open and like I feel like I can walk all the way through them I wish they just like went somewhere like oh that'd be so spooky oh god I'm from here you can clearly see two different sections like it's such a different shape just from here This is bizarre. 
I think they said the exit was in the pink section, right? Um. Um. Big. Big section. Every section. Oh god, it's huge. Where in the pink section? Is it the pink section? Oh god. It's so big. I missed it? I explored the whole pink section. Maybe it was the yellow section. I think it was like straight down the middle, right? It had to have been the pink section, right? It was the pink section, wasn't it? Help! I'm trapped in the Infinity Cafe! Oh no, it's literally infinitely big and I'm trapped in it. Bro. Hey again, thanks for helping out. You did a pretty good job. Do, do, do you know how to get out of here? Bro, how do I get out of here? I'm trapped. It's too big. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think I think I found it. I think I found it. That 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 board. This board. Infinity Cafe. This board. Oh, thank God. See this board? Like, ah, oh, that was so cool. Like the presentation. Ha! Oh, that was so cool. Like, everything about this was really cool because the presentation you walk in you see these weird corners like whoa that's so bizarre like i feel like they just go somewhere infinitely and they don't and like oh okay that's kind of lame but then you think like oh it's just this tiny it's just it's gonna be these rooms with all these weird corners because you, you see the corners there but then you walk around it and you're like oh oh and the further you get into it like the bigger it gets and you're just like oh my god now i get why it's the infinite cafe you really hold up to your name there, buddy. Thank you so much for assisting our staff. Our generosity won't go unappreciated unnoticed. You're welcome. Very great. I, I love this. This this was great. This was awesome. I can't wait to see more of this. Like I want like just that like I wonder what other kind of amazing gags this game is gonna have. You got the first platonic crystal, nice. You didn't even come with me. You can check it out in all your tickets men trinkets menu. And now you're one step closer to fulfilling the great the great and wondrous prophecy. Which states the corrupt empire shall fall with a traveler with his plucky sidekick defeat the time traveling supervillain and at the new era of prophecy. Hey, did you know that the hyperbolica is a complete secret? Oh yeah? Yep, it's completely closed off from all the rest of the brain link servers. And even though I'm just a newbie, I figure out how to access Hyperbolica anytime I want. Oh, cool. And I'll have to fall asleep with the brain link still on, and BAM! I'm right here. <laughs> oh, and that's how you got here too, right? Yeah, I knew it. That's why you've made to work together, reunite the five platonic crystals. Hey, oh, okay. So just falling asleep with the brain link on is, is, is the secret to getting here. Apparently, no one's done it before but us. Have you been to the Affinity Cafe? It, it's phenomenal. It's called the best food in Hyperbolica and it features in the Mobius Times. But to be honest, the article is a bit one-sided. Okay, well, I liked it. It was great. Oh my god, this place hurts my brain a little bit. Honestly, Hyperbolica is that coolest brain link server I've ever been on, too. One of my friends mentioned it to me, and they are always logging in to find cool new places. Can't wait to tell them about this. This place is insane, and that's just like the town. Like, ugh. It's huge. Where do I go next? Well, what's next door to the town? There's this weird, like, colorful area. 
Architecture in Hyperbolica is really weird. It always looks too big and too small at the same time. To be honest. I really get what it mean he means. I'm so lucky to stumble upon such a wonderful place. I can't believe it's been here such a long time. It must be a legacy to finally open up to the public. It's all usually here so agreeable. They just seem to get along with anything. Yo, there's walls here. Oh, shit. There are a bunch of, like, square walls. Everything seems to follow the same, like, fractal pattern, which is interesting. Oh god, the place is huge. Oh, fuck you, Bruce. Again, it seems so small when you're looking at it, and then it's like you walk along it and it's so big. And you can see it from here, there's just like just miles. All these walls. Like, if I blocked along each and every one of those walls, it would probably take me, a, like, a good half hour, plus hour, even. I don't know, like, a long time. Like, damn. That's why I keep going back to the middle in this place, because the further out you go, the, the bigger it gets. It's bizarre. Hello, are you interested in visiting the non-Euclidean Museum Oberture? It's called the Nemo, for short. It's a very exclusive high art gallery. Unfortunately, I don't see you on the guest list, so I can't let you in. Aw. Let's just come back when you have a ticket. Aw. I can't go in. I'm not allowed. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go the other way, because I, 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 I don't know. I'm guessing since it's path based and this is number one. I'm gonna go the other way. We did the uh we did the, the, the town area. So now we're gonna go into here. Oh, this is so bizarre. I wanna do one more area, and then I'm gonna call it a night. God. God, you follow the path and it's just like There's so much. It takes you so long to get somewhere if you follow the path. Like, oh my god. Hello, people. And then you have this desert area, which I'm guessing is also huge. If you get into it. Actually, it's not. It's really not that big. It's actually kind of small compared to everything else. Because this one's just like a few like little crevices. That like, yeah, you go into them and you're like, wow, this this place is big. And then once you get into it, it barely feels like there's anything here. It feels like everything else kind of surrounds where you are. It's so weird. I love it. I love it so much. Hello, buddy. You're free to visit the farm. Enjoy your visit, kiddo. Awesome. The farm! Okay, we're gonna visit the farm, and then this is the last place we're going. Whoa. So, whoa. Hey, there you are. I'm so glad I caught you before you left the barn. Sorry, I get queasy going in the three-sitters farm, but the people here are really friendly. I hope you enjoy the small town. Feel free. I mean, really small town. Feel. This pocket world is a really has a spherical geometry, which is what makes it so tiny. It's funny. Most people get vertigo looking down, so here people get it looking up. That's why it makes me so nauseous. I guess it's great geometry to make me geometry. Geometry. <laughs> 
Uh, this is anything that can be a joke if you sink it in the landing. Um, don't mind, I'll just stay in the barn for now. Having a roof over my head makes me feel less dizzy. Hope you feel platonic crystal here make me around. Yeah? What? What? It's a sphere. Whoa. Whoa. There's a giant tractor in the distance. What the frick? That is a big... What is that? Where did the giant? Oh, okay. Now, now it's a giant. The barn is is getting very large. This is bizarre. Wait. I'm I'm. Lo Brain. Which way was forward? I I can't get away from the. I, I can't go away from the. No matter what I do, every direction leads to the barn. Oh god, like my head is actually spinning. My brain was like, keep keep keep, keep exploring into the world. <laughs> and like I can I, I I turned around and I, now I'm I just I keep turning around because I'm trying to go away from the barn, but at a certain point. The barn is every direction. Oh, hello, barn. I feel like I've taken shrooms. Uh, am I in a fence? Wait a minute. That's so bizarre. From here, it literally looks like the fence surrounds the entire barn. That is so weird. But then, like, if you're like, it all try to approach the fence. Suddenly, it like just kind of like. And now it's really just a square here. And now I'm in the fence. Oh my god, this fence is actually big. Now I really am in the fence. But it's actually kind of small. But it doesn't at all surround the barn. Or does it? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe this is the only area that's outside of the barn. And everything else is in the fence. I like to just stand here and look out at the crops. They used to look gigantic. Too bad the grofers won't stop munching on the roots. Damn. Oh, oh god. Standing right here, and then these crops would be here. Oh god. This is so bizarre. We used to have some sheep in this pen, and you think they wouldn't be able to escape, but shoot. We got the wrong kind of hyper sheep. They all escaped into the fourth time. <laughs> Damn, hyper sheep! Escaping into the fourth dimension? <laughs> oh, 
oh that's just so bizarre like it still gets me like the fact that like technically technically this fence surrounds the whole barn technically but what like i mean really though what is the purpose of this fence like you got those people just like that dude just standing off in the distance that dude just standing off in the distance and they're just there but like what is this fence really enclosing nothing there's nothing in here it's not enclosing anything it's just like a little outside area there's, there's just some gophers here there's really nothing here for the fence to enclose so really wouldn't it make more sense for this fence to actually enclose the barn just think about it for a minute just, just, just think about it this perspective makes a lot more sense this fence enclosing the whole barn because it really does enclose the whole barn from here and then there's a giant ass gopher outside the barn don't worry about him and then there's a giant robot just chilling out there oh this is so weird My, my, my center of perspective has now become the fence. Like, it used to be the barn, now it's the fence. Because I like feeling enclosed in the fence. I mean, except for when it flips around and clearly isn't enclosing me anymore, but shh, don't worry about that. Tortoise burgers are my favorite snack. They are delicious. You've never had a bakery? They taste even better, such as tortoises. Oh yeah, I've had chocolate. It's delicious. Almost choked on it. Holy shit. Okay. I'll let you know, buddy. Ooh. There's a spring here. Oh my god. Whoa! What just happened? Wait a minute. Did I just get launched to the other side of the world? Oh, that was so weirdly bizarre and cool. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that's so cool. My brain just absolute trips when I do it, too. Oh, I want to look at, like, the warehouse's perspective. It gets sideways. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm right here. Hey, buddy. Holy shit. I could keep doing that. And there's this thing right here that I just boom. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh man, it looks so close and it's like actually way off in the distance. That is bizarre. Holy shit. Meow. 
I'm just gonna do it and I'm just gonna like spin in a circle and just like look at everything as it's all circular. It's so bizarre. The geometry of this place is a sphere. And it's so weird and I like, I understand it and I love it and it's great and I wanna go in the well. What? 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 Oh, that was even cooler than the fucking bouncy thing. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Everything about this is just incredibly. Where do you even go through? This just brings even more questions. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, it's a sphere. And not only can I bounce from one end of the sphere to the top of the sphere, but I can also pass through one end of the sphere out of. so cool when my brain is so broken on understanding what is going on. Where am I? Am I passing through the world or around the world? I can't tell. Ugh, it's starting to make me feel sick. What do I need to do in here? There's the well over there, the well over there. There's the bouncy thing. Everything feels so close together. How do stranger my mighty kind day we're having. But it could be better if only those gophers would just leave us alone. Would it be kind enough to lend us a hand with her gopher moment? Sure. Wow, thank you. Now we don't want to hurt the little critters. Just show them some love and gently help them on their merry little way. To where? So this right here is <laughs> special edition. <laughs> don't hurt them at all. But don't worry, no harm will come to those precious little paws. Just think of your little tickle. All you gotta do is aim and press your interact button and give them a jolt of encouragement. The trouble is the gopher ain't dumb. They hear ya. They'll scurry off in cozy little homes. So I'll have to have a luck myself. Just about ten of them, so you finish off the job, just give me a holler, I'll give you something special for your trouble. I'll be here next to this scarecrow if you need any type of good luck. Oh my god, he gave me a bazooka. Oh shit. And then the whole map is just circle. Oh, the map is weird. Again, I feel enclosed here. If you stand on the farm, again, you feel enclosed. Oh, this is so bizarre. Oh, it looks even weirder when you look at it on the map. But standing here, you feel enclosed. I'm in the barn. Anyway, bazooka! I got a bazooka, the gophers. Can, can, can I shoot? Can I shoot a gopher across the map? Whoa, what? It came back. That was weird. Hey, gopher. Damn it. How am I supposed to shoot a gopher? Oh, it's so bizarre when they land somewhere. Ah, 
That's so bizarre. Damn it. Um, go for. I gotta like sneak. There's no sneak button. Do I like got a ninja? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna land on your head. How am I supposed to do that? We gotta actually snipe them. As soon as they fire, they move. You have given can you why couldn't you have given me a faster bazooka? I'll come out of this hole eventually. I just happened to get it. Just shooting at them in the distance, that's the way to go. And eventually one will pop out of the hole. That is so bizarre. Is that all I had to do? Is just, just get the one? Oh, there's another one. Oh, fucker. I can feel it. It's gonna come out of that hole. It's weird. Sometimes they feel like they're coming back towards you. Oh, I got it. Oh, that is so weird. Cause they get bigger as they go down the circle. Shit, there's more rodents. I will keep firing at holes like a mad person until I actually... See, you're working on ridding us of those. Hopers won't be bothered. Maybe some of the folks can get some advice on that cannon. Okay. Careful where you aim that thing. Well, unless you're aiming at the other side of the world. In that case, don't need to be as careful. Most paths lead to the target. <laughs> True. True.
Great, that's a mighty snazzy cannon you've got there. Take advantage of our spherical world and hit those gophers where it hurts. Is that Plasma Bazooka 5000 Special Edition? My old man never let me use it. Sure it would be easier to hit those gophers if they were bigger. The game is basically keeps telling me to aim for them far away, which I kind of figured out just on accident. because eventually I was going towards it. Wait a minute. Damn it. No, that's so bizarre. Especially when you like shoot like that. And you get like a bunch of them. I'm going a different route, but to the same direction, to the same place. That is so bizarre. Hey, I got it. I knew if I shot at that hole long enough, one will eventually come out of it. That's how it's been working. Is there another hole I can find on the other side of the planet? Oh, there's that one. It's so bizarre how all those bullets are all going to that hole. I got it. Is that all of them? I think I got them all. I am an OP balloon that plasma cannon willy nilly. Just find the right angle and shoot once. I would find the right angle, but I have no idea when they're actually going to come out of the hole. See, as soon as you shoot towards them, they know you're coming. Oh shit, it worked. It's so bizarre. Like yo, if you position yourself from the on the opposite side of the planet from where, you're, man, I, I've been shooting at that one, and as soon as I stopped, he comes out of it. God damn it! Where'd that hole go? I lost it. Oh, it's right there.
Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, this game. Shoot once, they say. I will shoot from all of the angles. Got it. Okay, that had to have been the last one, right? No, there's still one more, right? Here. There's still two more. Where's the last one? There he is. I got you, buddy. There you go. I get what he means by don't just shoot it will I know you anymore. Even though I just got the last one. Circle my fruits, my square, my roots. You did it! The crops can finally grow again, and the fact I think I can hear them right now. Oh shit, here they come. Yes, you owe a lot of hard work. You hear you're looking for the one of them platonic crystals? It just so happens you have the right one right here. I'm so accepted as a token of my gratitude. Okay, I just want to say... Don't visit here anytime. This fence... This fence right here is literally just a straight line across the middle of the entire map. That's why it circumferences the entire area. So bizarre. So I want to enjoy your uh, view of the crops. Because this little area here is pretty much just as big as the whole farm. God, it's so big and small at the same time. It's so confusing. It's funny because if I jump into this... I end up over there, which is on the opposite side of the world. Is this like a form of fast travel or is this just for funsies? It's almost like a form of fast travel. Now if I want to go back to the barn, it's over there. Well, well, here we go. To the barn! Blonk. It ironically puts me right in front of it. So bizarre. This one was so wild. I, I loved this. What do you have to say? Thank you, kindly stranger. You saved the crops. Okay, you're welcome. Anyway, giant crops. Goodbye. I still kind of want to see the... Did I get to see the giant crops? I, I didn't really, did, did I? I mean, they, they look big, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's giant... What the frick? There's just giant vegetables just in the ceiling. Now I'm completely surrounded by the farm. 
that's the thing. From here, you're completely surrounded by the fence. I mean, from the... Well, yeah, you are surrounded by the fence. But then there's a farm up in the sky. But then I'm still surrounded by the fence. Guess you don't, this is the only place where you don't really feel not surrounded by the fence. But as soon as you walk past, like, a certain threshold, the fence is kind of like... Once you go into the farm... Boom. You're surrounded by the fence. I don't know. It's, it's something to think about. Is the fence around the barn? Or is the fence just randomly around nothing? Which is it? Still don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so focused on the fence. It's The fence is just it's, it's all mesmerizing to me. Oh, my brain hurts from playing this game. I need a break. <laughs> uh, Badar Crystal, are ready? That must be mean we're a really great team. Haha. <laughs> Revealing the prof prophecy together is just an ancient wizard foretold. Think about how the is that everyone here is too nice. People will say, wow, you're such a funny and let me start a sketch comedy group together. But you want to try and meet in the real world? Hey, just ignore you. They just act like you don't even know you. But it's like they say, have to. you have to have an odd number. You have to be odd to be number one. Haha. <laughs> I guess what? Yeah, the tickets to the never. Yeah, the tickets are for the qu our quest that must be hiding in the platonic crystal. I'll meet you there in the bed. Here's our tickets. Oh, cool! I got tickets. Now, weirdness. Ah, back to this weirdness. It's a different type of weirdness. This almost seems normal at this point. See, I'm not in a bubble anymore. I'm on a plane. <laughs> oh, my brain hurts. Okay, well. That was definitely interesting. Um, That was at least the start of whatever you want to call this. What is this called? Hyperbolica? It's so much. Like, you can see everything from here. It's great. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a follow. Or not. Wait. But anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Or not. See if I care. Wish leave a comment down below. Let me know how terrible I'm doing it as always. I'll see you in the future, my friends. Bye!